So in today's little project, I'm going to mess around with this Klein tool. It's the ET310. And the reason that I am uh, going to use this is because the electrical panel, which I will show in a bit, is a disaster in this place and that nothing is, is marked well or at all. It's all wrong. So I have to start tracing some of the circuits back. Um, I ended up getting the entire kit and I'll post a link below. You can actually screw this into uh, a light so you can find what circuit it's on if you don't know, which is kind of cool. Uh, you know, this is for the, uh, you know, you put that into a plug and then you can use the tool to trace the, the outlet back to a, to a fuse in your fuse panel. And the one I'm going to use today is this, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. What you do with this is you take this, I guess you call this a transmitter and you plug it in and you can hook this to wires. Uh, again, that's what I'm going to do today. And I'll, uh, I'll show that here in a second why I'm, I'm doing it this way. But you basically, whatever you plug this into, you have to uh, attach it or plug it in or whatever. Hit this button and it will begin to transmit. And then you take this over to the fuse panel and hit this button, which I'll show. And then go up and down the fuses and it should tell you which, uh, which fuse goes to either your lights, uh, outlet, uh, or some wires. And we're going to do that today. So... I'll go into my little workshop and we'll uh, we'll see if we can figure out where this light is hooked up to and start marking the the proper locations in the fuse panel. All right, so as you can see, uh, this light is typical for these kind of lights. The thing hardly ever works, uh, and I don't know what this is connected to in the fuse panel. So we're going to figure that out in just a minute here. I bought a new light. It's over there. It's an LED light. I have one in the garage. They're pretty cool. All right. So as you can see, I've got this hooked up, the black to the black wire and the red to the white wire. And then this is, this is live. And this is going to, should, trace us back to uh, the fuse box and tell me what circuit this is on. And we'll be able to double check it because this light is on a little bit. So I'll, at least I know we're, uh, I know that we're going to be good. So let's see. All right. So as you can see, here it is. I mean, this stuff is, it's marked, but it's, it's wrong. Uh, so what you do, I push the button on the transponder and then you, you turn this on right there. It is. It's all ready. It has to learn. So you take it and you run it down and it, it learns so it's now learning the box and now it should all right so that should be it right there It's marked furnace, but uh, that is the furnace room. I would hate to think it's marked to the front. It's on the furnace, but and that one there is marked kitchen. No one knows, and that is also marked furnace. So let's turn this off and see what happened. And as you can see, the light is out, the transponder is out, so that is the uh the right circuit for this and i'm gonna have to probably see if the furnace comes on i can't imagine it's all hooked together but god only knows but at least i'll know now what uh what exactly is that circuit and this is a small laundry room down here in a workshop and the rest of the lights in the basement are on so that means they are on a separate circuit. And there is a refrigerator down here, which is probably off now. Perfect. All right, so now to figure out 
this bathroom. Uh, so I've got this plugged into the plug. The plug isn't upside down. Maybe a commercial guy put it on here. I don't know. <laughs> but there we go. So I, I turn on the, I have to be able to push the, the button underneath to energize it. And then, all right, so this is ready. Same thing, it's, I guess it's got to learn it every time. But, but I think honestly that it, it probably works the first time around. But, well, uh, all right, so now let's see. Let's see what it does, oops. see it from here and that's it perfect the bathroom light went off so another one found this one it says tv room on it but i don't uh i don't think that's right there's a tv room down here and i'll double check that oh the one thing that i uh i got wrong and i thought about it this uh that's for chest testing a gfi so you plug it in and you hit that and it tells you if their G or GFI is working. So you really don't have to buy a separate GFI checker, which is pretty cool. All in all, uh, I really like this tool. It just saved me a lot of money, uh, or a lot of effort, I should say. And I just found uh, another three circuits that I, I just don't know, uh, you know, where they were going and they were all mismarked. So I'm on my way to having a nicely marked electrical panel, panel where I know where everything is. Highly recommend it, and I'll leave all the links below. 